Hi everyone, my name is Jay Kim. I'm the founder at Cilantro. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the renovation side of the business, so come on in. When I found this space, I knew this was a perfect space for cilantro. Why? It's a 1400 square feet, simple kitchen infrastructure like vented, grease trap, plumbing, and electricity, which are all expensive and time consuming, are already here. I'm on a tight budget, so uh, I have to be very creative with the space. Entry is your brand's first impression. When I first walk into the door, I want our customers to anticipate for a great experience. Our new space is relatively small but really long, 700 square feet kitchen and other space dining, so I'm going to expose the ceiling all the way up. Your eyes will feel like you're in a larger space, but the track lights on the ceiling will make the space feel warmer. When you enter, your eyes will see the right where you'll be greeted with our staff. You will smell the space and look further into the end of the hallway to feel the vibe and its cleanliness. I'm on a limited budget, so I can change the floor tiles even if I want to. So we're going to replace the tiles by the entrance. I think it'll do its job. I need to work with what I have and see how it turns out, but I have a good feeling about it. I think old owners did a great job in maximizing the space. They used every inch of a space to put tables and chairs. It worked for them. For me, for this space, I want our customers to feel comfortable and not bump into each other when they're in this space. A lot of customers will be coming from the hospital right back of us, and I want this space to be a great place for a lunch break. Less seating, more room for walking, in and out. For me, restroom matters. I like clean, simple, bright restrooms. And I like to keep them clean and smelling nice all Are the time. Pumped? I'm very pumped. Um, our cost out of this building, you know, it's relatively cheap because it's a second generation restaurant. The things that are very expensive are the hood. Uh, the permits take a long time and the grease trap. So if you were to open up a restaurant like this, it's going to probably cost you $400,000, $500,000, but we're saving a significant amount of money because the infrastructure of the restaurant is here. All we have to do is just change out how it feels to be in here. What do you, what do you enjoy in life? <laughs> <laughs> we 